all the rootkit stuff will be presented on uh, Windows C6. It's an uh, image uh, that was built by a platform builder. And we can see the proof here. <coughs> For the files hiding demonstration, I've prepared a set of directories and files that contain the pattern uh, 666. You can see it here and here. Um, let me connect to the emulator with the remote uh, registry editor and create some registry keys and values uh, to prove that a registry hiding is working too. So first let create the key and a value. And now let's run the rootkit. And do the refresh. So you can see all the directories and files with 666 in its name are now hidden. Let's try to create a new directory with this pattern. Refresh again. As you can see it is hidden again. And now for the registry part we need to reconnect because the registry keys are cached. And that again they are hidden. Let's try to create a new key 666 and it fires a message box that it's unable to create the key because it already exists. So it is there but, it's but it is hidden by the rootkit. For testing uh, process hiding, we first run a testing program with the pattern uh, 666 that the rootkit recognizes and hides in the process list. So here you can see that the program is running. Now we'll connect to the emulator uh, with uh, remote process viewer to verify that the process is really there. Here we can see uh, see it. It's it's a process with a name that matches the pattern 666. Now let's run the rootkit. Okay, um, the process is still running. We can operate it, and now let's refresh. As you can see, there is no running process with the 666 name. For the network um, hiding part, I'm going to run a server client program. It's a registry monitor. Um, the software I've developed to uh, monitor registry operation by common programs under Windows C. So first let me run the server part. Uh, now the client part. The server listens on localhost so let's connect to localhost. Um, the output of the program is uh, redirected to a log, log file. We can see that on the desktop machine. Now let's see that there is an active connection between the server and client part. It listens on the port uh, 1666. So now comes the uh, rootkit to hide the connection. Mm. 
Now let's rerun the netstat program. And we can see that there is no active connection on the port 1666. But the regmon is uh, still active. As we can see, the log file is still filled with with entries.